see. This is a Holler census machine. Herman Holler, the man who came up with a better way of doing things, made some money, but is mostly forgotten today. What is the Hollerith machine? Well, it has to do with the American Constitution's requirement to take a census every 10 years. Starting in 1790, every 10 years, the American government has taken a census. The next one will be 2010. Everything was counted, horses, dogs, sheep, cattle, pigs, how many wagons you owned, if you were a railroad, how many engines, if you were a ship owner, how many ships you owned. Anything and everything of statistical interest for economic purposes for government planning. What you see here is an 1890 machine used in the 1890 census. A better way of focusing, calculating, organizing the information. In 1880, the American census took about five years to collect all the data. It took another four and a half years to complete the census. If you hadn't had the Hollerith machine for the 1890 census, it wouldn't have been complete in 10 years. These machines revolutionized large-scale information handling. The 1890 census took about the same time as the 1880 census, even though there were 16 million more people. What did it do? It provided a more organized way and a faster way of processing information. A large data sheet would be marked. It was organized into a matrix. The matrix in turn would be processed so that a punched card could be used. How was the card punched? A machine like this one. An operator would take a look at the data sheet place a card in here. If there was a mark on the sheet, it would push down, punch a hole in the card. Then you'd take the card and you'd put it in a reader. 80 spring-loaded pins electrically connected, electrically connected, to the counters on the machine above. You press, put the card underneath, press it down, there was a bed of mercury underneath. Mercury is a liquid metal that provided the ground for the electrical circuit. If there was a hole, pin went through, completed the circuit, and the counter would advance. Each counter number being part of the information being collected. Lift the handle up. Where do you put the card? This is an organizer, a sorter, if you will. Pop up because of an electromagnet relay. The operator would take the card and stick it in the box that was open. No decisions had to be made. Simply put the card in, press the handle down, lift the handle up, put the card into the open box. Was it good? 16 more pe million more people in 1890. The census was complete in six and a half years, four years earlier than the 1880 census.